The next component of the essay is the body. The body of the essay, that's the meat of the essay. That's the main thing you're doing with the essay. The body of the essay is where you are going to present your supporting evidence. Now, I use this term evidence for a reason. A lot of instructors will say the body is where you put the supporting details. I prefer to use the term evidence because what you are doing in an essay is pretty much the same thing that a lawyer does in a courtroom. Uh, the lawyer doesn't just stand up and say, well, I just know John Doe shot Joe Blow, so there, and then sit down. Instead, the lawyer brings in evidence to show that one guy shot the other guy. So we may have things like uh, the bullet recovered from the body matches the gun registered to the accused. Or we have witnesses who saw these two guys fighting before the shots rang out. Or we have a ballistics expert who can trace where the bullet went. Things like that. That's all the supporting evidence. So when you are working on the body of your essay, you're using supportive evidence, supporting evidence, that is to say, to prove your thesis. So you're going to bring in things that are going to um, relate to the thesis. So for example, if I'm writing an essay, and uh, you may go back to the video that I had about a thesis, if I'm using uh, the thesis pickup trucks, are not just for cowboys anymore. I'm going to want to have supporting evidence to prove that. So I might bring in, uh, first I would start probably with a paragraph about how cowboys do use pickup trucks. Um, how they use the pickup truck to haul out hay out to the cows when there's not enough grass to eat or going into town on Saturday night, or whatever. So you have a paragraph about all the different ways that cowboys use pickup trucks. Then maybe I would have a paragraph about how housewives use pickup trucks. And so I would talk about you know taking the dog to the vet and picking up the kids from school, and all of the things that housewives use pickup trucks for. And then I might also talk about uh, teenagers and young adults who give their pickup trucks fancy paint jobs and put lots of chrome on and neon lights and things and cruise up and down Montgomery all night on Fridays and Saturdays uh, as another way pickup trucks get used. So when we are looking at our pickup truck thing, what we're also looking at is um, we're looking at um, one idea per paragraph. So I would make separate paragraphs, a separate paragraph about the cowboys, a separate paragraph about the housewives, a separate paragraph about the teenagers and young adults. Now, um, one of the things that you may have heard sometime in your academic past career is that the body of the essay should have exactly three paragraphs. Um, that's a somewhat outdated idea. It came from the ancient Greeks. Uh, 2,500 years ago. And we've made a little bit of progress since then. So instead of trying to have exactly three potty paragraphs, if you have, say, four categories of supporting details, put in four paragraphs, so on and so forth. Now this also then gets into the idea of, okay, how long should an essay be? And the answer to that is long enough. Uh, I know, for example, in my class, the syllabus says essays are supposed to be 650 to 1,000 words. Uh, the problem, though, with specifying a number of words, uh, a lot of times I'll see essays where the writer just says the same thing over and over again to get up to that 650 words, and that's not a terribly effective essay. 
Uh, another way of specifying the length of an essay would be how many pages, two and a half pages, three pages. And I find if I specify a number of pages, I end up with a lot of essays that are printed in 16-point bold-faced, triple-spaced with two-inch wide margins, as if you think you're going to put one over on me. Sorry, doesn't work. So what I'm looking for when I'm looking at the body of the, of the essay is do you have enough paragraphs to prove the point that you are making? And that's where long enough comes in. Now, the very best description I've heard uh, for the appropriate length for an essay, uh, and it's slightly politically incorrect, but it still is the best uh, description I've heard, the best comparison, it should be like an attractive woman's skirt. It should be long enough to cover the topic, but short enough to keep things interesting. And by the way, keeping things interesting doesn't necessarily mean super short. Uh, while my syllabus does have that 1,000 word limit, um, if you have something interesting to say, I don't mind if you go a little bit over that limit. Just make sure if you do go over that limit uh, that what you are saying is really interesting and worthwhile. Uh, don't just drone on and on and on and on. So body paragraphs, however many you need. Uh, one problem that does come about, sometimes you may have an instructor that insists you have exactly three body paragraphs uh, to fit the ancient Greek formula. Um, if that's the case, don't try to smush multiple ideas in a paragraph. What happens is if you smush multiple ideas in a paragraph, neither idea, or if you have three or four ideas, none of them gets really fully developed, really thoroughly covered. The other thing that happens is if you have multiple ideas in one paragraph, the paragraph itself just doesn't really hold together. Um, and so if you do have an instructor who says, I want exactly three body paragraphs, instead of smushing multiple ideas into paragraphs, pick your three strongest ideas and develop each of those three ideas as thoroughly and as completely as you can. And that way, you will come up with a much better essay than if you do have multiple ideas smushed together. Now, another thing you're going to do with the body of your essay, you're going to connect ideas. So you're going to be connecting ideas uh, both within paragraphs So you're going to probably be using little connecting words to connect sentences together to show one idea leads to another idea leads to another idea. Or maybe you're showing contrast, this idea, but on the other hand, that kind of thing. So within the paragraph, you want things to hold together well so the reader can follow what you're saying. You're also going to want to connect ideas between paragraphs. So what that means is, um, if I'm writing this essay about pickup trucks, uh, I would have my paragraph about cowboys. And then the paragraph about housewives, I would start by linking that paragraph to the one before. So I might start that paragraph by saying, cowboys aren't the only people driving pickup trucks nowadays. Housewives drive them too. So what I've done is I've connected to the previous paragraph and led into the new paragraph. So that is, gives the reader guidance to be able to follow you. So that's what you do with the body of 